Todd, uh, what more can you tell us about this meeting uh, tomorrow between the PGA Tour Policy Board and the Public Investment Fund from Saudi Arabia? Yeah, we talked about this last night at live from the players. It was reported originally by Golf Week and our contributor, Eamon Lynch, that a, re that a meeting, rather, is likely to take place this week between the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia and many of the policy board for the PGA Tour, the player directors. Now, today, Patrick Cantley, who is a player director on the PGA Tour policy board, according to Sports Illustrated, confirmed that, yes, there will be a meeting on Monday. Did not give any details as to where it will take place. Could very well happen here in the Ponte Vedra Beach area or the time or anything like that, but said that there will be a meeting between officials from the PIF, maybe Yasser al Rumian, the governor, and players from the PGA Tour on the policy board. Now, Roy McIlroy was a member of that PGA Tour policy board until last November. He has been very vocal, especially lately, that there should be a deal done between the PGA Tour and PIF, and today he reiterated that. Rory, it's been confirmed that there is a meeting tomorrow with the player directors and, and PIF. Do you welcome that? Do you think that's a, a good thing that's going to happen there? Absolutely. Um, I think it should have happened months ago. Um, so I'm glad that it's happening and, you know, hopefully that progresses conversations and gets us closer to a, a solution. Does Tiger need to be involved in that, you think, at, at, at this point? Is that, is that I matter? mean, he's a player director. He's on the board, so absolutely he needs to be involved. What do you hope their message is? What do you hope their takeaway? Do you imagine yeah. you know what his interest is in golf? What do you hope they can take from that meeting? The players or the PIF? The players. The players? Um, that fundamentally he wants to do the right thing. Um, I think, I've said this before, I, I have spent time with Yasser and his, the people that have represented him in Live, I think have done him a disservice. So Norman and, you know, those guys, I, I don't, you know, I, I see the two entities and I think there's a big, I actually think there's a really big disconnect between PIF and Live. I think you've got Piff over here and Liver sort of out there sort of doing their own thing. Um, so the, the closer that we can get to Yasser, Piff, and, you know, hopefully finalize that investment, um, you know, I think that would be a really good thing. What does Piff want, do you think, that's different to Liv? Um, look, they're a sovereign wealth fund. They want to park money for decades and not worry about it, you know, and they want to, they want to invest in in smart and um, secure businesses and you know the PJ tour is, is definitely one of those especially if they're looking to invest in sport in some way when you talked with Yasser did you sense from him a bigger picture view than than what we're seeing with live absolutely I think there's there's a way to incorporate I think they you know they're big on team golf and they, they want to see team golf um, survive in some way in the calendar um, I don't think it has to necessarily look like live. I think, in my mind, you should leave the individual golf the individual golf, and then you you play your your team golf on the the sort of periphery of that. So, um, but again, there's there's, it's going to require patience, right? I mean, people have contracts that live up until 2028, 2029. I don't know if they're going to see see that all the way out, but I definitely see live. Um, you know, playing in its current form for the next couple of years anyway, while everything gets figured out. I don't think this is an over overnight solution, but, um, you know, if we can get the investment in, then at least we can start working towards um, a compromise where, you know, we're not going to make everyone happy, but at least make everyone understand why we're doing what we're doing. Now, five of the six player directors on the PGA Tour Policy Board were in the field here at the Players' Championship. The only one that was not here, Tiger Woods. Adam Scott, one of those players, he told me that he wants to put a face with a name in regards to PIF and figure out the intentions of that group. Of course, we will follow all the developments of this story. One thing to consider, both sides, Rich, are under the feelings that it's going to take close to a year for the DOJ to approve this deal if indeed a deal is reached.